I've got a sweet mountain bike that gets me out on the trail, but I've gotten into trouble with it out there. Oh. Ah. So I'm on a mission to document trails for adaptive riders. Welcome to this episode of Weekly Ride. We are back in Mammoth right now. I'm riding with my boy, Ben Peck. My past couple trips to Mammoth have been really, really cool because I've discovered more trail routes that I can do completely solo. My trail combo that I was doing was Velocity, Twilight, Chainsmoke. Now, we've added lower Twilight to that as well, and then we end up down at Chair 2. And then on the other side of the mountain where we end up down at Canyon and then the Village is Breakthrough to Flow. And we have some trail options there. Um, from Flow, we could take Pipeline, and then at the end of Flow or Pipeline, we can take either shotgun, which I've shown you tons of times, is one of my favorite trails, or smooth operator. We've had kind of some issues the past couple days. Ben had a, a major flat. I had a mechanical yesterday. Ah, uh, I bent my wheel. I bent my wheel. Really? I think so. Something bent. Rotor? Look how it's pointed out. How's your bike? Uh, it's dirty, but it's running. Our bikes are dirty, but they're running. So hopefully we can like ride a ton today and get a ton of laps and we can show you some of my favorite new trail combos at Mammoth. Let's do this. Thank you. Okay, boys. You ready for me? We have a strap. Okay. Red. Red. A shimmy ya. Shimmy shimmy. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. She's all yours. Awesome. That back wheel goes all the way back in here. Okay. This is, uh, I think, the third time I've ridden the chair, so we're figuring it out, getting better and better every time the chair is stopped less and less each time. I learned the hard way to pull my legs up on the seat because the chair started going, my legs were dangling, and my getting started. My feet got caught underneath. It was not good. How'd it go, dude? It went not as smooth as the first time. <laughs> uh, now we know. Yeah. Repetition and everything. We're gonna dial. With the gondola, I have to go. There's stairs, so I have to go through the retail shop into the elevator, around the building, and then there's a narrow door where my bike needs to get lifted sideways through it. This way, riding chair two, there's a lot less logistics. I can just pee in the parking lot by my car, there's nobody here. And less people have to wait um, as the chair is stopped than if we were on the gondola, there's way more people. This is a lot better, a lot less logistics, you agree? I, yeah, especially with the peeing part. The, the peeing part You don't is, have to use the bathrooms. Right, and that takes a while. Like, I gotta go around the building to the bathroom because there's tons of people around. I can't just pee at my car. I guess I could pee in a bottle, which I have done. But last time I did that, I spilled the bottle in my car. That wasn't good. So when I'm riding with somebody, I prefer to ride chair two. Now it only runs Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then when I'm riding by myself, I'd like to just since I have an e-assist, I just climb up the service road. It's just way better, especially with everything going on right now, just being outside rather than in a building around a ton of people. Thanks so much, guys. There you go. Got it. There you go. Boom. Okay. And we're gone. Thanks boys, that was a quick one. Have fun, man. Yeah, dude. How about some music? Let's hit the music, let's do this.
route a little more doable, just take the ride around on the Velocity Spine. Shred my tire. <laughs> oh, yeah. The little connector trail to catch lower twilight is super easy to miss. It's on top of the second table on the last part of chain smoke. Ah. Look at that, no problem. Nice. <laughs> oh, my hands are big. Me too. That's a big one. Remember my boyfriend, Sean Murphy, from previous episodes? Well, we met up with him and headed up for our next lap. Breakthrough has an exposed section that adaptive riders will need help with, but it can be avoided by taking the flow fall line shortcut. This is super shitty right here.
Yeah. Okay, so Sean, um, this is the A-Line Rock Garden. Um, okay. I ride around it though. For your enjoyment, here's Ben killing it on the Rock Garden. Adaptive riders, you can see why I highly recommend doing the ride around. Where it gets a little greasy in here. It's all good, I'm gonna just go for it. And here's Ben doing the flow drop for you. It's only about an eight foot drop, but you end up flying about 18 feet. It's clearly marked. Make sure you follow the single black sign and not the double black. Little sketch spot. Yeah, not bad though. I say keep flowing right in. Halfway through flow, you can catch pipeline and take it to smooth operator. Watch this, this is super funny. Look out, Belford. Stop, jump. Woo! That was amazing. was fun, but if you don't catch pipeline, you can ride flow in its entirety and take it to shotgun. The rain feels so awesome, huh? Okay, I got a critical line choice right here. So I gotta go slow right here. This is the only traversing spot. So, see I gotta get my wheel above this route. See you like that, boom.
Oh shit! Uh, uh, I almost ate shit right there. <laughs> oh, dude, that was so rad.